27th. That's this Saturday from 6 to 9. June 27th. June 27th. June 27th. 27. 27. Okay. From bring your lawn to... chairs. Bring your picnic baskets. We're going to be at Shaker Square outside. Okay. Outside on the lawn. Outside on the lawn. In the beautiful Shaker Square. And that's located in the city of Cleveland, though, isn't it? Oh, right in the city. And, you know, it's just, it's, this is what I'm saying. Cleveland has invested into our artists, and we have a long history with music and, and entertainment here. And we see that, this, that the city is also uh, allocating funds and resources to keep this uh, platform available for our artists. You know, and, it, and it's a very good thing, you know, and they really don't, because we have a lot of other things that, that the city needs to do also, but they also make sure that they carve this out because this is a part of our sanity, this is a part of our, our fabric here. Yeah. While I'm here on the microphone, I want to give you a Coventry, August 1st from 1 to 3, the One World Festival, August 2nd. The Blues Cartel. From 3 to 5.30, that's the Blues Cartel, um, featuring Smokey and Miss Butterscotch. Okay. Oh, oh, really? Scott. Oh, really? yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're bringing the real deal to you. Here, okay? <laughs> Say it again. Tell it again for people because you know the people. You know sometimes they just catch the tail. Write it down. Yeah. Coventry, August first from one to three, the One World Festival, August second from three to five thirty. That's going to be in Martin Luther King in the Gardens. Okay, that's Vernon Blues. Bring, Cartel. Vernon Jones Blues Cartel. Featuring Smokey, Lovis Watson, Jeffrey Rice, uh, Leonard. I hope to see you there. Thank and you very much. Butterscotch. Um, and Miss Butterscotch. And Miss Butterscotch. We can't, <laughs> we can't forget Miss Butterscotch. Oh, What's heck of a okay. name? Because then I wouldn't be able to go home. Okay? <laughs> okay. Let your daddy see you. Let your mama see you. She throws out she's something. Can you go through a little bit of a, a, a recap or something while we're talking? Oh, yeah. Last Wednesday, Old School performed at Paradise Island. David Sewell, shout out to you. You guys are really rocking it, the Old School style. Oh, man, this is a show that you have to see, people. You know, they have a real good, it's a real performance, you know. You have to see Old School. They are yeah. rocking the spot constantly, you know, and they got the, the audience participation. Danced you know, all night. Yeah, yeah, got to give it out there to give a shout out to my man, David Sewell. Hey, yeah. and on Thursday, Aaron Nicole Neal was at Blue Rock Cafe in Hudson. And we enjoyed seeing you out there, Aaron Nicole. We're going to be watching you. Hey, and our Gears and Cheers, we saw Leslie Smith out there. Shout out to you, Leslie. And on Friday, then we have an excellent footlong at the Doghouse in Bedford. Oh, man, the Doghouse, we was rocking it up. Oh, oh, excellent know? food. We got a chance to stop also to a place by the name of Mr. G's in mm -hmm. Be Bedford on Broadway. You know, they showed us some love. We got a chance out to uh, the... Uh, you know, we made a new friend out in Hudson because we do you know, music for years is spreading like what, and uh, we have a, a couple of venues out there we'll be announcing next week that's interested in being a part of our network. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's just a, it's just a, a beautiful thing that people are, re people are reaching out and, and contacting us and sharing the music with us and hoping that we can provide a platform for them to get some more exposure. Well, I want to thank you for going to the drink on 131st. That's my award. Oh, really? Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know. Thanks for coming to the hood. Oh, yeah, thank you. Coming you know, right hey. in the middle of the hood. Yeah, you know. 131st, right off there, right behind Harvard Avenue right there, brother. They, well, they're showing us love. I don't know if this is in your ward, too, but on 126th Street at the Mount Olive Missionary Baptist Church. That's not my ward, but right outside my ward. It's still in the hood. they're going to be having free line dancing classes, mm -hmm. 6 to 7 p.m. That's every Thursday, beginning June 4th for the summer. You All say right. What? Mount what? Olive Missionary Baptist Church. That's Mr. Harris. That's East Pastor Harris. Pastor Larry Street. Harris. Freeline dancing yes, people. Yes, Pastor Reverend Larry Harris. Yes. This, this, you know what? You know, and, and, you know, let me let everybody know. In the background are the lovely sounds of Miss Barbara Barrett, and it's called Dawn. Dawning. And she, you know, she's a beautiful uh, Cleveland independent artist, which we call CIAs here. And uh, she's been working, you know, in the trenches for a long time here in Cleveland, and it reflects in her her music, you know. But uh, Cleveland is just so rich, and we're just so glad that you were able to come mm -hmm. down here and share the, this, the, the Cleveland Music Gospel about through your event that's coming up. This family, you know, the last year, had over 20,000 or so. Oh, my gosh. We had the OJs there last year, and uh, oh, my gosh, it was, it was, they were coming. They kept coming. They kept coming. Had a little <laughs> bit of rain for about 40 minutes. Oh, yeah, we were uh, there. We, we, cleaned, we cleaned the stage off, and they gave us an hour, and I, I, I'm still amazed at how much music they were able to play in one hour. 
And it's I think they, utterly amazing. The fans really deserved it though because they stuck it out. Oh, they did. Yes, yeah, they came back, rain. and about five to ten thousand people stuck it out. Man, we got soaked out there. You hear me? It was just yeah. amazing. We sat there, and they were diehard fans for the OJs. I just want to give it out to the all those OJ fans out there. Man, you guys were wonderful, man. Nothing but love. Was there last year too? Yeah, no. Okay. It, yeah, they were there. Yeah, they were there. Okay. Right there. Y'all was rocking okay. the spot. We, we tried our best. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody comes out. We, we, I think we have a good time. I think yeah. the people out there have a good time, and, and, and the vendors. We got, we got vendors. We got fireworks. We got good food. We got good atmosphere. Everybody's good. It's safe. It's just a good family-friendly event. For one whole day, people get to relax, and that's and that's what we don't do enough of here in the city of Cleveland. We always hustling and bustling and moving around. This gives us an opportunity to sit back, relax, listen to good music, have fun, mm -hmm. have the right. ability to come out to the park to see people that you haven't seen in a long time, and just hear really good music. And this year, to know that you got the SOS band. To know that you got Evelyn Champagne King, what? and what? to know that you got Stephanie Mills, oh, and then wow. fireworks. I mean, that just, fireworks just those four things mountain. alone uh, should boom, bring boom. you to the park. How but, awesome but, is that? You know, I'm saying I'm feeling that. I'm really feeling that. You know, when you're in music for years, is really feeling that. You know, something like something we won't have to we won't have to make it. There. What do you think? Girl? Oh yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, we're going to be rocking all crammed up. We're going to be, you know, doing what Angelica can't do, you know what I'm saying, rocking these jewels like this. You see what I'm saying? But that was the lovely sounds of... Barbara Barrett. Oh, man, you know, she has so many... Uh, this project right here, she has so many songs that we'll be getting with those. So, and how do we get in touch right, with Barbara? Right, and that was Barbara? the title cut, uh, Donning. The title cut. Yes. Barbara Barrett, well, she's on Facebook. Um... So I'm, I'm sure you can connect with her. That's Barbara, B-A-R-R-E-T-T, -T, Barbara Barrett. Oh, okay. Now, moving right along, you know, in, in Putin Bay, have you been to Putin Bay? I've never been to the island. Oh, man, let me tell you, you have to do yourself a favor, you know. It's a big and, party. It's all, uh, when we got there, it was on. It was Pirate Weekend, too. Let yeah, me tell you. Oh, boy, we were, <laughs> we was rocking this proper Come in with the Jews like this, you know, <laughs> rocking. And it was like, man, I'm like, where you guys from? We said, we from Cleveland, Ohio. They was like, right <laughs> on. I'm saying, yeah, this is what we do. We, we rock capital. Want you guys to understand that Cleveland is rock capital. Rock capital equal, equal Cleveland. So when I say it again, when I say Cleveland, you say Rock Apple. When I say Rock Apple, you say Cleveland, people. You see, they all, it all comes back to Cleveland. You see what I'm saying? The rock and roll capital of the world. <laughs> you know, that's what, that's what we're doing. We, you know, we had to promote that, man. You know, we have so many <laughs> artists here. <laughs> and, you know, Sydney Ellis is, a, is another fine artist that we have that we'll be getting to. Uh, that she's uh, originally from Cleveland. A lot okay. of Cleveland roots. Yes, yeah, it's a lot of good Cleveland roots. And she moved to Germany. Tell and him. she's been rocking it over there in Germany for about 20 years now. And Ooh. she plays for the masses out there. She's got a lot of excellent blues songs. We love you, uh, Sydney Ellis. And we're going to play you in a little while here. Uh, yeah. But we also got another uh, Cleveland artist we're going to be playing, too. And that is... Mike Calhoun. Mike Calhoun. But, you know, we're not, we just got a call right now. I had to take him because this is the... You know, this is this is a uh, this is do. my man. This is what we do. Welcome to music for your ears, and is it not, my man? What's happening there? How you doing, man? I'm doing fine, Mr. Bobby Brooks Wilson. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, kid. Yeah, hey. who, who we're talking to? This is Jackie Wilson's son, right oh now. Oh my God! Oh, the wow. Jackie, Jackie yeah. Wilson. That's right. You, you know, he's tuned in right now to the Rock Capital. You know, he's calling us from Las Vegas, people. Yes, okay. sir. You know, well, you. you know, Bobby. You know, uh, you know, Cleveland basically, uh, you know, have adopted your, your your father. You know, and he's like a you know a son of Cleveland. But we, right. but we know that you you have a project that's been coming out. You know, we talked to you while we were in Vegas. You know, when we saw you with uh, 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 I believe it was Sherry Gordy was there and stuff. We all hung out for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, uh, but you know, I wanted to share with Cleveland that you about your new project that you had coming up. Okay. Share it. You know and. Uh, you know, and, and, and some of the songs that, were, that you did, there was uh, uh, from your father's album also. What was yes, sir, I did. Yeah. What were some of the songs you did there, Bobby? I did, I did a cover of uh, my, my father, Jackie Wolf, um, Lonely Teardrops. We did uh, Your Love Is Lifting Me Higher, Too Beloved, Call My Name. Uh, and uh, one, one of my favorite ones that we did was It Only Happened. It Only Happened. Wonderful. Oh, man, you know. And uh, what inspired you to uh, start this project, man? Well, I've, I've been keeping my father's, well, doing my own crusade of keeping my father's alive 
Music Lab for about 20 years now. Yeah. I've been working all over the country, actually all over the globe. Yeah, that's right, that's right. You've been working out here. You know, you got to, we weren't able to catch your show, but everybody's talking about your show there, Bobby. Right on, man. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah it's, it, and, uh, uh, you know, you, you kept the field going, and then this most recent project, where, you know, understand that you had uh, some outside inspiration to, to, to steer you in the right direction to finish this project. Well, yeah, you know, I, I've had a lot of people, you know, who, who uh, I mean, a, a lot of people who helped me, but um, my, my manager out of uh, Tennessee is the one that really asked me to, to do the project together and right. go in and uh, do this album uh, as a tribute to my father and as, and as well as bringing me out as an artist. Well, we'd be real excited for you to bring that show here to Cleveland, and we hope you're going to do that soon. Yeah, I, I plan to. I plan to. Uh, we we were, got all of those in the schedule and in the mix. But the show that I was doing when you guys came to Vegas was called Jackie Wilson, The Legacy Continues. And we had a blast. Yes, we did. Yeah, it was off the chain. <laughs> Everybody received it very well. And so uh, looking forward to, to getting to Cleveland and, and rocking Cleveland and Cincinnati and a couple of other cities. I hear you have the gift, of your, like, as your father did, of oh, being able Bobby. to sound like several different artists. Yeah, we yeah we, we got a chance to listen to the album, man. It's a beautiful thing. We can't wait to share it with Cleveland. Um, well, yeah, well, you know, four of the songs uh, on the album went to number 10 on Adult Contemporary. Um, it was uh, Your Love Is Lifting Me Higher, uh, Original. Um, okay. The original, I Can't Love You Anymore, uh, a Richard Marks cover, Right Here Waiting, and, um, and the, the fourth one uh, is... Uh, it, it, it only happened. It only happened. And, and two of the songs got me uh, a Grammy uh, on the Grammy ballot for 2014. Right on, yeah. Good. Let's see, and, and that, that, that's a beautiful thing, man. Hey, you know what? I was down there, you we were talking, chatting with the folks here in the audience, and we were telling them about our trip there to uh, Vegas. We haven't dropped any pictures yet about us with Sherry Gordy and stuff, but you know, yeah, some of the people you work with is like Sonny Turner you, you, you're familiar with, right? And, uh... Yeah, Sonny, Sonny, is, Sonny is like a, a, a living dad for me here in, in Vegas. Uh, he's always making sure, uh, you know, and watching out for me, making sure my show is tight and, and my band is tight. Uh, you know, this... And, and, uh, and it was funny about Sonny Turner is uh, he told me about how he met my dad and how my dad took him under his wings. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. When he that. started, Sonny, you know, Sonny was the second lead singer for the Platters. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, he replaced Tony Williams, the first lead singer. Oh, the man, that was a dream come true. Yeah, I bet he was. And so uh, my dad gave him a lot of inspiration and uh, and told him that he could do the job, and he did. Because uh, he's, he's the only one to pick up a Grammy on that group. Yeah, that's right. right. So uh, yeah. And so he basically has done the same, reached out, gave me the same love and, and uh, direction and got it. Oh, that's You're beautiful not, for yeah. him to return the favor like that. That's yeah, a blessing. Awesome. And what about uh, Phil Flowers? We saw him perform. Yeah, Phil is great. I've, I've seen Phil um, around uh, Las Vegas for about 10 years now. Um, Phil does a great tribute to Luther Vandross. I don't know if you heard it. Yes, he's tribute. excellent. Yeah, I've yeah. known him uh, for, for quite some time. Very nice man. And the talent that he had backing him up, like uh, yeah, Queen the, Aries. And yeah, the band, uh, you know, um, one, of, one real famous, uh, the bass player that was the leader of the band is Cuba Gooding Senior Son. Right. Right. Senior yeah. Son. So, so you uh, um, with him, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's, he's an excellent mus music director and, and bass player. I mean, he's played with everybody. I actually met him through Raheem, the lead singer of GQ. Oh, the, the, some of the group called GQ. Remember them? Yeah. Yeah, we remember GQ. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, and I met the bass player through Raheem because he played for Raheem uh, and for, for that group before he moved to Vegas. Oh, man. You know, you we got so much. We can't share it all within our, our few minutes, my man, but I wanted to let Cleveland know that we have been working real hard to to uh, get some of our people back, and we we're just so grateful to, to come in contact with you in Vegas. We really appreciate the, the time we spent. We look forward to spending more time with you, and we're going to spread this Cleveland music gospel every Wednesday from 8 to 9, my man. You want to give, give a shout-out to anybody huh? here in Cleveland? Uh, here's a big shout out to your boy. This is your boy Bobby Wilson. Calling you all the way from Las Vegas and Cleveland. You rock. I can't wait to come out there and rock with you. Oh, and also, uh, also, I uh, love the, what you guys did at the uh, 
Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for my dad. Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome, Edwin. We appreciate just doing what we're supposed to do, man. You understand? That's it. Okay, but you know, we got to go. But uh, it's been swell talking to you. You tell everybody in Vegas that we, you know, Sherry and them and, and Joy LaShawn, you tell them that we love them, man. And we, we gonna, you know, we'll get back with y'all. We, we're gonna keep on partying, though. You know what I'm saying? Be on it, be on it. Yeah, and we rocking these Jews. You know what it is. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Thank you. We love you, Bobby Wilson. Love you too. Right.